Good morning, happy travelers. We are in Napa, California currently. Today is our second full day and we're gonna get up to some awesome adventures. The setting in the place where we're staying also provides electric bicycles and I've never been on one of those so I think we're gonna take those out a little bit later. And then we have another wine tasting at Chandon Winery at four o'clock I believe. So let's get going. today we came up to Calistoga which is about half an hour north of Napa it's really cute small little town with a nice main street and for lunch we came to the Calistoga Inn and Brewery and the food looks incredible it smells really good out here so I'm excited After lunch, we headed down the main street in Calistoga and went into a coffee shop, got some coffees. And now I think we are going to head just a little bit outside of town to a winery that looks a lot like a castle. You ever notice when we're in the car and I'm holding the camera, I hold it so both of us can be seen, but when he holds the camera, just his giant face is in the screen. We came to check out the grounds of the winery Chateau Montalena. It looks super cool. Now I'm really sad that we didn't make an appointment to have a tasting here because it's pretty unique and gorgeous. They have no appointments available for right now. So we're just gonna walk around and check out the grounds, I think, because it looks pretty beautiful. This place is pretty amazing. I mean, like, freaking look at it. It's a castle. Right now, because of COVID, you need reservations to do a tasting, which we didn't make any, so no tastings for us today, which is unfortunate because this place is so crazy. We had just enough time to come back to our little cottage for a few minutes to relax. And now we're off to the Shandon Winery for a wine tasting. The Setting Inn offers electric bikes to its guests, so we're gonna take those bikes to the wine tasting instead of driving. I'm already not very good on a bike, so after wine, <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna do great. There's a really nice bike and walking trail along the main highway that goes right up the center of Napa Valley, which looks really pretty, and since this winery's so close, we figured, why not? Let's go check out these bikes. Safety first. Whoa, it takes off. If you like pedal more than twice, it, it goes. <laughs> Riding an electric bike to a vineyard is almost the most Californian thing I've ever done before. <laughs> I have to say, they, they move. I was a little surprised at how fast they went. Yeah, they went real fast. They were cruising along pretty good. We 
been seated in the tasting area and I got a reserve flight, which is three different of their reserve sparkling wines. I got a Blanc de Blanc, which is a sparkling wine made entirely from the Chardonnay grape. I got a reserve Brut, which is a white sparkling wine made from red grapes. And I got a reserve Pinot Noir Rosé, which is made from the Pinot Noir grape. Can't wait to taste all of them and I want to do that before they get flat. So if you'll excuse me, cheers. So I decided to go for a cocktail and they have a pear, ginger, and sparkling wine infused cocktail called I Pearly Know You. So that's what I went for. We also decided to get some Shandong branded truffle popcorn. Not a bad way to spend a Thursday. Is it Thursday? <laughs> Say Thursday? It is. Cheers. What? So now that you've tried all three, which one's the best? I don't know. They're all really good. Is that one your favorite? No, I think that one's No, that one's your favorite? No, I, I think this one's my favorite. Do you think all of them are your favorite? Uh, I think we're going to bring home a lot of bottles of wine. <laughs> wine tasting. Oh. <laughs> How long do we spend there? Wine tasting is really fun. That was a good wine tasting. Yeah, one thing I really like about all these wineries that we've been to is they all look very different. One was a castle, one was a cave. This one's kind of mid-century modern, so it's really neat to see how each winery does their tasting rooms and all their buildings. We were given our tasting that we bought and because it was the end of the day, just a little bit more than we ordered, so that was nice and uh, the sun has gone down so the temperature dropped really quickly so it's chilly. We, we're freezing our butts off now. <laughs> so we got a bike back. Yes, but it's not going to be that hard because they're electric bikes. That's a good point. So we didn't film any of the ride back just because it was much colder <laughs> than the ride there. So, it's so cold. So we're sitting here, Kelly's under a blanket, we've got the fire going, trying to warm up a little bit and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. We're not sure whether we should go out to eat or order in, it is our last night. So we're trying to figure that out now. So we fought our coldness and tiredness and decided to come out to dinner instead of ordering in just because it's our last night of our trip and we don't go out to dinner like at all at home. So <laughs> we came to this place called Mustard's Grill, which the internet said is awesome. So I'm excited. We're here under the heater next to the garden and it's still pretty nice. Well, I had originally wanted something with veggies in it. My risotto is green. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> Dinner was really good, and then Kevin decided we were gonna get dessert. So <laughs> we have a chocolate and hazelnut tart thing. With espresso ice cream. With espresso ice cream. All right, that is gonna be it for us for this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe so you can keep following along with us on our travels. This is Kevin from the Acro Tourist. Peace out. We're currently at our gate waiting to get on our flight to Maui. We'll have to come back. Safety first. Where's the thing? Oh, you're so good at unlocking. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that you're not yeah. gonna get dessert. Say, say, say the dinner was good. <laughs> <laughs>